We do begin with a family grieving the loss of, the fa of their father on this Thanksgiving. 61-year-old Lee Draper dying while skiing with his youngest son, Moses, at Brighton Resort yesterday morning. His family telling us snowmaking machine blocked his vision and he ran into a snowbank, which caused a catastrophic brain injury, killing him. He leaves behind his wife, five siblings, and six children. His children speaking with ABC4's Jordan Burroughs tonight about the man he was and how he'll be remembered this Thanksgiving. Jordan, how did Drapers, the Drapers describe their uh, father? Lee Draper's two passions in life were the outdoors and his children, six of them. His kids tell me he stayed in such good shape so he could experience life with them. This example behind me, in this picture you see one, he's in high school on that skateboard, and then a video at 59 years old also skateboarding, a 40-year difference, he keeping up and being active. The Draper family is a part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and says since the accident, there has been a tremendous outpouring and love and support from the community. He was everything you wanted in a dad. He would give almost anything for anyone around him, and that he would give everything for his family. Lee Draper has six kids, all of them grateful for the life lessons they learned. Lee was the ultimate outdoorsman and was whatever the Draper kids needed him to be, a mentor, a teacher, a best friend. He was everything. Everything to his family and to the community. His oldest son, 38-year-old Tom Draper, like the rest of his family, devastated by the passing of their dad. He was the greatest man I knew and uh, the world has lost. The world has lost something great by his passing. I can already feel the emotions coming up. Lee's youngest son, Moses, was skiing with him when he died. I was just hoping it wasn't my dad. Moses and Lee had both gone down the majestic run at Brighton Ski Resort. A snowblower had blocked their vision, and while Moses says he almost crashed, it was his dad who did. He went headfirst into a snowbank, causing a catastrophic brain injury, killing him. I tried checking for a pulse, but my hands were... My hands were so damn, so cold, sorry. My hands were so cold, it was kind of hard to feel. And, um... Moses said his dad wanted to back out of skiing, but Wednesday morning, he got a call. He called me at 6.30, and he said, we're going skiing. <laughs> and I was so excited. <laughs> Moses says he couldn't pass up the opportunity to go skiing with his dad, the man who taught him everything he knows. He told me the reason that he stayed fit all his life. Was that so he could do things with us and be with us and be healthy for us? So, even for his two daughters, J.C. and Shelby, Lee's proudest accomplishment was being a dad. I think that he would hope that that we would all wake up in the morning and go fishing or go on an adventure and not not let this. Um, hold us back. As the days go on, the adventures will continue. Lee watching over his family. The Drapers say their proudest moment is being a Draper. I hope people still catch me in the street and be like, you're a Draper kid. <laughs> we love your mom and dad so much. You're so lucky to have them. Lee Draper, 61 years old, stayed fit just so he could keep up with his kids. Side note, his kids say he always beat them in arm wrestling. The Draper family says while they were in the hospital, somebody made the remark, we can't have Thanksgiving since dad's gone. The response they gave was, yes, we do. We need to have Thanksgiving for dad. Back to you, Glenn.